The West Kelowna Warriors came back after a tough night on Friday night to come away with a complete performance on Saturday against the Salmon Arms Silverbacks. Started with some good chances in the first period. Rourke Appleby was strong. That's the first of his 22 saves that he had on the night. West Kelowna had a lot of good looks in the first period, just could not beat Ryan Grout. Part of a period in which they had 19 shots on goal in the opening frame. But the best of the saves in the period for Appleby came on that chance from Ryan Gillespie and also an opportunity on a follow-up try by Nick Wellenreiter that just was forced wide of the goal. Kept the game at zeros as the first period moved along. Warriors had a couple of good looks, including that chance in the slot from Vigo Nordstrom that was just denied. Ryan Kraut, the 16-year-old goaltender, had a strong... Uh, appearance in the first period, but the Warriors did eventually get to him, and it came from the way of Michael Salandra on a redirection that just got through the legs of Ryan Grout. Salandra's third of the year at 17-12 of the opening period. Frederick DeSaines with the shot from the blue line. He gets the assist as well as Johannes Lockberg to give the Warriors a 1-0 lead uh, towards the tail end of the opening period. Great chance for Brendan Nelson to the side of the net. Grout came across to make an outstanding save. And in the second period, Maddox Martin with the best look for Sam and Arm in the game. Walked down Main Street with that chance and a big blocker saved by Appleby, who was fighting through traffic all night on the penalty kill to keep that puck out. Warriors with a good look here from Jack Pridham that was denied by Ryan Grout before another great chance here for Cole Cooksey. But getting back on the defensive end and making a strong play is Dylan Brooks hustling back in his 100th career regular season BC game to knock that puck away. The Warriors had a good look of their own on a 2 on 0 It was Trey Osmus with, with Michael Salandra. Osmus for Salandra. Back for Osmus, but the pass just got away from him, and the game remained 1 to nothing until this point. Cole Longacre goes back for a puck. Trent Wilson takes it away and walks in alone and beats his man on the blocker side and Grout. Wilson's got his second goal of the season. The shorthanded goal is unassisted, and West Kelowna up 2 to nothing at the 14 2 mark of the second period on a big shorthanded mark marker for Wilson. That's the third shorthanded goal of the weekend for West Kelowna. They scored two shorthanded goals Friday night in Salmon Arm and one here on this night in West Kelowna. The Warriors came back with another opportunity later in the period and a chance for Brennan Nelson just couldn't settle a bouncing puck toward the front of the net. Third period action, the Warriors continuing to press to try and add on to their lead. Grout continued to be strong. A great look in front that Grout was able to kick apart. And another solid chance for the Warriors uh, toward the front of the net. Jackson Kierkostas, a wraparound try, just couldn't finish it off on the blocker side of Grout before Appleby had to be strong with another good stop there, but had some help defensively. Trey Osmus came across with a big block. The Warriors jumped ahead by a 3 to nothing score on this nice play. Michael Salandra did a great job to keep the puck in, tried to toe-drag a man in the slot, but the puck came free for Felix Caron, who buries it past the blocker side of the goaltender in Grout. Caron gets the goal as third of the season from Salandra at 849. That gave the Warriors a 3-0 lead in their favor in the third period with Caron scoring for the third consecutive game. West Kelowna continued to add the pressure part of a night where they had 46 shots on goal and they picked up their fourth and final goal of the night on a terrific look at the front of the net as it's Frederick Duchesne's the blue line sent the puck to the front of the goal redirected in by Jack Pridham his third of the year at 1256 to give the Warriors a four to nothing lead. Uh, Pridham picks up the marker a day before his 18th birthday to find the back of the net and give the Warriors that one goal advantage as Sam and Arm could not clear the puck and the Warriors able to keep that one in and find the back of the net. West Kelowna pressed all night long again part of a 46 shot night for the Warriors and Rorick Appleby a 22 save shutout as the Warriors defeat the Silverbacks 4 to nothing.